you have two options to create a relational schema. You can either draw one from scratch or you can convert an existing ER diagram into a relational schema. For this example, we're going to convert the faculty ER diagram, which is the following, into a relational schema. To do so, we can click on the three dots on the right side of the faculty ER diagram and click on convert to relational schema. We can type a new name for the relational schema. I'm going to call it faculty relational S. And then you can click on create or create and edit depending on whether you want to just create it or directly start editing it after creating the schema. Here, as you can see, NSUID and social security number, which were unique attributes in our ER diagram, have been converted one into a unique attribute and NSUID in the primary key of the faculty table. Now, this default might not necessarily be the one we want, so you want to make sure that the primary key is the primary key that you actually want to have there. For now, we are okay keeping NSUID as a primary key, but we want to change the data type since NSUIDs may start with zeros. So we want to change it into varchart. Similarly, first name and last name have uh, automatically been encoded as a uh, integer and we don't want that we want to change both of them into var card we're okay keeping social security number as an integer once we're satisfied with uh, the relational schema we can save it and as we did for the er diagram we can go to menu and then export this as an image. We click on export, we can save it as a PNG file that we can use for submissions into Canvas. If you want to create a relational schema from scratch, you click on new diagram, relational schema, you type a name for the relational schema, And then you click on create. Here you have a, an empty canvas that you can populate with tables. So we are going again to create a faculty table. And to this table, we're going to add a primary key that is NSU ID. We save NSU ID as the primary key. We also specify that this is not an integer but a varchar. Then we add more attributes such as first name, varchar, and last name. And then we add another unique attribute which is social security number that we are okay keeping as an integer and we specify that social security is also unique. We save and then again we can submit this as a PNG image by clicking on menu export image saving this image and then submitting the image as a flat file to canvas.